The NYPD says an estimated 5,000 people attended a march for Gaza today. Lisa Rosner was there as the group made its way across Manhattan. Hundreds of people from all over the tri-state area gathered in Union Square around noon. Among the messages, calling on the U.S. to halt funding to Israel. I believe in this, I mean, uh, the, what's going on in Gaza and the West Bank must stop. I mean, it's going on too long. And that's what brought me to fight for the Palestinians. I mean, I cannot be there with them, but I can help them from here. I'm Palestinian myself, and just watching every single day, it's hard to go to sleep imagining it. Organized by Within Our Lifetime, they marched north past Meta headquarters, then to Grand Central, then south on 2nd Avenue, where police stopped them at 44th Street just before the Israeli consulate. Then they made their way down 5th Avenue, passing CUNY's Graduate Center, calling for the school to divest in Israel. As a Palestinian daughter of Palestinian immigrants, this is a cause that's very dear to my heart. I'm out here protesting for the voiceless, and that includes my family that's overseas. They're in West Bank. I've had several family members already um, jailed, uh, killed, and this was all unprovoked. The group posted on X this Labor Day action is to raise awareness about what they call workplace place discrimination in the tech and healthcare industries against employees vocal about their support for Palestinian people. It called on attendees to cover their face to avoid NYPD surveillance. There was also a directive to attendees to put phones in airplane mode to circumvent location tracking. This person held a flyer to raise awareness about one man. Uh, Mohammed was a displaced Palestinian in Gaza and sent him funds right here. Organizers say in the evening there will be a fundraiser for medical supplies and to raise money for doctors to be sent to Gaza and the West Bank. In Union Square, Lisa Rosner, CBS News, New York. On our website, we have coverage from past demonstrations over the Israel-Hamas war and any updates from ceasefire negotiations. That's all on CBSNewYork.com.